it's Jennifer from Sea Lemon. Today I wanted to share some bookbinding tips with you guys on different methods you can try for pressing your books. If you're new to bookbinding, a book press puts pressure on your book so that you can glue the spine without the signatures or pages moving and you can place your complete book into it so that it puts enough pressure on it so that the entire book dries flat. You can find a book press for sale online and many times you'll find the antique cast iron ones. I think those are so cool. I have wanted one for years. They're ornate and like old looking and I just, I have wanted one for so long but they range from like $200 to $600 and on up. Some I've seen like $3,000, it's kind of crazy. Plus you'd have to pay for shipping because shipping a cast iron device through the mail is going to be really heavy. So that's expensive as well. So if you can afford it, that's an option. But if you can't, you can also try a DIY route. A few years back, I made a tutorial on how to make your own book press and you can check that out right here. I still use this one today and it has not failed me yet. Many of you have used that tutorial to make your own book press and have made adjustments to suit your needs. If you do use boards that are larger than the boards that I use, you can add an extra post so that it does make an even pressure on your book. You guys have shared your book press pictures with me with hashtag CLemon and I see that you already adjusted the posts where you need to drill them and some of you have made much larger book presses, which is so cool to see. These boards are eight by uh, 10 or 11, I believe, and it has just enough space on the length so that I can fit my most common book project size into it. And so this fits it perfectly. And a tip for those of you who have made this DIY book press, for an even pressure on your book, place your hand while you're tightening the screws so that the board is even with your book so that the board isn't like slanted and then your book dries kind of crooked and slanted. You don't want that, you want an all over even pressure. And when I use this press for gluing the spine of the book, I just leave the signatures out maybe about a half inch or so so that the glue doesn't get on the book press. If you don't have time or materials to make this DIY book press, you can also try some other methods like putting a large heavy book on top of your project. Though you might need to add more weight on top of it so the pages don't move and you might not be able to prevent the pages from getting knocked or moved. And you can't exactly free up table space like you can with the DIY book press because it has to stay there on the tabletop. Another method you could try is with a piece of board or a paint stir stick. To glue your spine, place it on top of your book on the edge and use C-clamps or other clamps you might have to clamp the sides down to a tabletop. And then your book will stay there in place so that you can glue the spine. This might be a little tricky, but you can also place another piece of board or a stir stick underneath that one and clamp that together so it's sandwiching your book. And that way you can free up table space and let the book dry wherever you want. However, your book might have a slight curve to it or that lends itself to more problems happening with the glue drying on the book and you're getting kind of a crooked book. This was the method I used before I made a book press and I still prefer the DIY book press more because you can stand it upright and it stands up on its own if you want to glue it that way and it can press your entire book where the stir sticks can't do that and you can move that book press wherever you want to let your glue dry so that it frees up your desk space. That's a big important thing to me because I have kind of a small space and so that's a real big one is that I can move that thing anywhere I want to. Of course, use the method which you find most convenient and easiest to do on your project and if you have any tips or other methods that you've tried for pressing your book, I would love to read your experience, so share it in a comment below. Give this video a like if you want more bookbinding tips and videos covering bookbinding subjects, and if you want more bookbinding supplies, substitutes, and tips, check out these videos in this playlist right here. More book projects are on the way, so make sure you're subscribed to my channel Sea Lemon so you don't miss a thing, and you can check out my more recent book videos right here, all of the links mentioned in this video will be in the description below for you to click on down there, and I will see you guys next time.